Hey everyone, today I am going to share with you my plans for our homeschool for December. So, um, I've kind of tried to map out what I think we have going on or what I want to have going on for the month and I'm just gonna take you through it. So, the first thing I'll do is our family and group subjects. And I did plan a Christmas cookie like unit study. Um, I made a whole separate video on that, so I will link that. Um, but I think we have three weeks um, for that, and that's going to be using this cookie advent cookbook. Um, this book. Let me see what else. Possibly this one. This one. This one. Uh, and then we've got some a cookie swap um, project-based learning that we're going to do from Teachers Pay Teachers. And I, again, shared that in the other video, so I won't flip through it here, but I will link that video uh, below for you. And then I also have on here this close reading Christmas edition that I wanna try to do uh, in December. And that is also a pack I got from Teachers Pay Teachers. This is using excerpts of holiday stories from classic literature and annotating and all of that stuff. I thought that this might be something I've been wanting to work more on with my kids, um, with both my kids. And so I thought, well, this might be a fun way to do that. There's a little lesson. Um, and then there's, the, there's um, a Christmas carol and Gift of the Magi, I believe. Yeah, by O. Henry. So we're gonna see if, where, when we can put that in uh, in December. I thought that that might be a fun way. So just something fun to do. And then um, we do have the full text of A Christmas Carol. So potentially we could read that, I'm not sure. That's in my Christmas bin in the basement and I haven't gotten that out yet. So <laughs> we'll see if that gets added in or not. Um, and then we'll also continue with uh, Power of the People. We will be doing F, G, and H in December. So this is the um, curriculum from Mint and Bloom. And it uses this Rad American History A to Z book. So we just do one letter a week during our Friday group time. So that's what's planned for December. We will continue on with our big ideas for curious minds. We Again, we do this every week on Friday. We will continue on with our state study, states and regions. We'll be doing these five states. I think Hawaii is on a week on its own, if I remember correctly. I'm not positive. But anyway, those are the five states we'll be doing uh, in December. Our picture book study and creative writing. So this may look familiar because it was one of the ones I had planned for November. Um, but in November, we I decided, so I had two picture book studies for November. We usually sp um, spread them out over four weeks. Uh, we work with uh, one book or theme for two weeks at a time. Um, we were doing a lot of other picture books already in November and, and write, creative writing based on that with my bias and stereotyping and fake news unit study. And so it was kind of too much to, to do both of um, these ones in November. So we did the sandwich swap one, which was two weeks for November. And I just decided to save this one for December. So um, I just have the three books in this series and we will do um, the little lesson in this book on that. And then we also have this Problem Fixers uh, creative writing unit from Keep It Fresh Writing Centers. And this is what we'll do another week. And then I have a bunch of STEM picture books uh, that we will use for the, add to this for the picture book study uh, portion of it. So. Um, we're just going to simplify it a little bit for uh, November, December. Okay, and then our normal building language, grammar voyage, and uh, creative form drawing are all things we have been doing, or we do regularly, so we will continue those 
uh, into December as well. That's the creative form drawing. Um, and then I put down here, this was a last minute edition, our Ohio scrapbooks. So we um, started these Ohio scrapbooks as part of like Ohio history for my fourth grader this year. We've scrapbooked two of our local history uh, visits, uh, but we still have more that we've done that we need to scrapbook. So we did the James A. Garfield National Historic Site and uh, Canal Boat, but we have visited other places. Um, and we have not yet done, we have not yet scrapbooked those. So we did Zor Village, we did the McKinley Museum, Zor Village, the Ohio History Center, and um, what was the other one we did? Oh, the Rutherford B. Hayes um, site. So we've visited all those, we have pictures from all those, we haven't scrapbooked them yet. So, um, I have that down here that I would like to do that because that's something fun that we could do in the month of December that needs done. So we'll see if we get to that, but I did put it on the list, so. And then for our read alouds, we will continue on with absolutely everything. We will finish this um, before the, by the end of the semester or in uh, December at some point, and we will move on to something else in January. We also are currently reading this one during our read aloud time in the evenings. This goes along with our states and regions study, so we'll continue that. And then this is our novel uh, read aloud that we should get to at some point in December. Uh, so we will see. We're struggling a little bit getting through read aloud, so uh, fingers crossed. All right, so that's everything on this side in here. For my seventh grader, not a lot of new stuff. So she's doing the Mark Kistler Learn to Draw in 30 Days book. I thought in December we would add some of his YouTube videos to that. Um, so I've got that written down. This isn't everything she's doing. I just wrote down anything that might be a little bit different than normal. So for her sewing, she's been working on embroidery and we had borrowed this book um, from the library, which I really like. And so she's been kind of practicing with this a little bit and I got her she's gonna in December she's gonna continue this and she's gonna work on making some little Christmas gifts for people so I picked up these little kind of mini hoops from Amazon for her to use <clears throat> and she did one last week it turned out really cute she's gonna just decide what she wants to do if she wants to make them into a necklace or a magnet or just a little wall hanging, but they're teeny tiny. Um, so that's what she's gonna be working on for her sewing. Um, her learning how to learn, I did another video on this as well, um, but she will be finishing up this book. And in fact, I think she'll be finishing I think she'll have, oh, did I write? Yeah, she'll have chapter 16 and then her final project, which I, is what I made a video on, um, where she will be working through this kind of mission, final mission, and creating her personalized uh, toolkit. So she'll be doing that in December. And then this was just my note of where she is in Science Mom. So she, Started the year with Science Mom Biology 1. She will finish that in December and then she will start Biology 2. And then in Lightning Literature, uh, she has one week, I think, from the Rainy Day Reader. And then she also will be doing Alice in Wonderland um, or Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So we've got the book ready for her. Start week 15. So this will actually start at the end of November. Um, and then I just got some additional books from the library. So we have Who Was Lewis Carroll? What is the Story of Alice in Wonderland? Um, this one's called Everything Alice, the Wonderland Book of Make and Bakes. I thought this looked really cool. I don't know if we'll, she'll actually do anything from here, but I don't know. I thought it'd be fun to look at. 
Then I just grabbed this one called The Other Alice, The Story of Alice Liddell and Alice in Wonderland. So those will be extras that if she's interested in, she can, um, she can do during the month while she's reading that book. And then for my son, um, he finished his presidential cursive uh, book that he was doing. So he will move on now to just doing his cursive as part of his fix it grammar where they have to rewrite the sentence. That's what my daughter does. Um, I just have them do that in cursive as their cursive practice. Um, for his IEW um, writing, we will be moving on to unit four. We're finishing up unit three right now. So he will move on to unit four. I have a whole video on that that I can link for you if you're interested. And then for him, he will be finishing his Science Mom Chemistry um, next week. So for December, he will be done with that. So I have a couple of options for him. So originally the plan for him when he finished Science Mom was to move on to this grade four daily science from Evan Moore. I had this from my daughter, so um, I thought this would be good. This is designed where you do one page every day. <clears throat> but he would do more than one page every day because I think this will be a little bit easy for him. Um, but there are some things in here that I don't think he knows a ton about. So um, this was the plan and still is the plan eventually for him to move on to. I will likely add in some other uh, books to this. But I'm wondering if maybe I hold off till this is where I'm kind of stuck because you can see I have an or here. I also have um, this book that we had originally kind of uh, piqued my interest when I was planning my Christmas cookie unit. And this is called The Universe Explained with a Cookie. Uh, what baking cookies can teach us about quantum mechanics, cosmology, evolution, chaos, complexity, and more. And it didn't really work its way into my final plans for that unit, but I really think my son would enjoy this. And I debated using it as like our evening read aloud. And then I thought maybe this is something that he could work through in December uh, for science, just reading through it and I don't know, maybe doing some notebooking or something along with it. This is an adult book, but he's a very sciencey kid, so I think it would be okay for him. Um, so that's where I'm kind of not I haven't made a final decision yet. He will definitely be doing this. It just may not start till January if I decide to have him do this. So one or the other um, is what he will be doing for science in December. And then for his cooking, I um, we're gonna be doing a lot of cookie baking. So we're gonna do that. And then we've been doing a lot of cooking with our states and regions. So I'm not getting a Radish Kids kit for him for December. We will just work through these things, so. I think that is pretty much it for uh, December. So I think I'll go ahead and get my planner set up and kind of get the first week of December laid out. I've got all of our group work written in. Um, this I added in with our cookie unit study. We'll be planning a cookie exchange and we will need to do some bits of that on some days other than Friday because it'll be too much to fit all of that as well as the other weekly um, things I have for the cookie unit study all on Friday. So Thursday is a day I don't plan a lot of group work typically because we have both science and history on that day. But um, 
I've been putting any extra like unit study things that we need for Friday on Thursday. So that's why that's there. Also, we've been doing um, multiplication fluency practice. Um, just these little sheets. So that's what that is um, here. And Grammar Voyage, we've been doing one day a week. So I just added that in, our creative form drawing, our journaling. <clears throat> so that's that. Um, once I have my group subjects in, which I do in green, then I go in and start adding in my kids' individual um, work. All right, so that's that. And then I just am going to go through and um, fill in the rest of the days. Okay, so I've got everything written in here. So that's pretty much that. Um, so that's my first week of uh, December. And yeah, that'll be week 16, which I like to mark down here. So this is how much we have done in our school year so far. That's a little wiggly. This is the week we're on. And then this is how much further we have to go. I just like that visual. All right, so that's everything there. And then what, what I have left to do um, for planning for December is really not so much planning, but prep work. So I need to make a list of the library books that I need to get. Some of them, like for history for my daughter, I already have because the unit that she's on in uh, history covers two weeks, the end of November and the first week in December. So I have some of those books already. Um, but I did need to get the remaining weeks in um, December for her. So then I will need to do look at my son's history and see any books he needs. And then any other subjects that I want to pull library books on, I will need to go ahead and do that here. And then I will make a list of any um, copies that I need to make. So, or um, print, printouts. I know that I will need to do um, Curiosity Chronicles uh, for my son. I will need to do Latin for my daughter. And I'll just kind of peek through their other subjects and see what else I need to get printed. I like to print everything for the month uh, at once so that it's all ready. So yeah, just library holds and um, things that I need to print and then it will be ready to go for December. So that I think is everything. I'm sure I forgot things here and there and you are more than welcome to ask me in the comments if you have any questions or if I forgot to mention something. So that is what we've got going for December. If you have any questions, I will talk to you in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.